Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soberless channel. And this is another episode of Does It Basketball. And today we're going to be looking at the Nike React Hyperset. And this shoe, of course, it reminds you of another shoe. And this shoe is a volleyball shoe. And a lot of volleyball players play in basketball shoes because when you play basketball, and when you play volleyball, a lot of the movements are pretty similar. Apparently you're jumping up a lot, you're doing a lot of lateral movements. I guess not as many lateral movements in volleyball as in basketball, I guess depending on your play style, but uh, apparently the moves are pretty similar. So the shoes are interchangeable. And uh, this shoe is going for 120 bucks. It retails for 120, but it is available on sale for like around 100, 110 bucks. And if you use the code SoulBrothers20, you can get an extra 20% off on that. So if you want to get this shoe, I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the Tractiones, right? So the traction and the cushion is pretty much exactly the same as the Hyperdunk 2017. And as you guys know, the Hyperdunk 2017 is goat traction. It's really, really good, has a very good bite. And same thing with the React Hyperset, right? So they're using this like circular pattern uh, for the outsole and the bite is just really really good i had no issues with consistency uh, overall it's a very consistent bite very hard bite as well and i play with this outdoors and it looks really good i was very very surprised at how little this outsole like was fraying off it looks as good as new which is crazy because when you feel it the the rubber is kind of soft, but then like it's very durable. So if you want to play with this shoe outdoors, you definitely 100% can. I feel like it's a, even a little bit better than the Hyperdunk. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. They're around the same. It kind of just frays here where the toe is. Maybe it's because it gets a little bit thinner there. But here on the bottom where basically the outsole is, it's, it's good. There's no problems at all, which surprised the hell out of me. So yeah, the outsole is really, really good. Uh, as far as the heel to toe transition goes, it's a very smooth transition. You have a nice curved shape here in the heel, a nice curved shape here in the forefoot, and you have a good amount of forefoot flex. So when you're running down the court, you it feels smooth, it feels fluid, and uh, it just feels great. All right, as far as the cushion goes, they're using this exact same tooling as the Hyperdunk 2017, and it has React in its name, right? So React. Hyperset. So obviously it's using React Foam, right? Yeah, it's the same exact thing as the Hyperdunk 2017. So uh, it's a carrier. So it's a stiffer foam and then it has a React Core. And it's it's all right. Like around the edges of the cushion is pretty stiff. But then I can feel the React cushion a little bit right underneath my foot, which feels kind of nice. But to be honest, I could really feel that React when I was like going hard. You know, when I'm like sprinting down the court, I could really feel it. When I'm just like walking around or just shooting around a little bit, I couldn't feel it as much. A uh, court feel was okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the best, like, you know, usually Harden's are. Um, but I also wouldn't say it's horrible. I would say it's a little bit lower to the ground than like the KD-13 or the PG-4. So that's pretty good court feel. Impact protection is not not bad i wouldn't say it's the best but i also wouldn't say like my feet hurt at all there also seems to be kind of like a flatter offset um it doesn't seem to have like a big offset which isn't a bad thing to me personally so as far as the cushioning goes i would say it has adequate impact protection a good court feel and it's a very responsive type of cushion you're really not going to get anything crazy like crazy compression crazy bounce or anything like that so if you want just an overall very responsive cushioning setup this is a great option all right, moving on to the materials. The materials is probably one of my favorite parts about this shoe, right? So uh, as far as the overall material goes, like here in the toe box and here in the midfoot, they're using this like stretchy type of material. It has a good little stretch to it, just like on top of the toe. They're using a good amount of fuse here on the lateral and medial side and also on the tip of the toe. But then like you feel this stretch here on top of the toe, you know, like here in the middle of the toe box, and that feels really, really nice. And you can also feel that here in the tongue and here in the midfoot as well. Uh, we have some flywire cables for eyelets, which is really, really nice. You know, Nike really doesn't use flywire as much in their shoes anymore, which kind of sucks. Remember old school, like back in the day, they used to use flywire for everything. That's not the case anymore, but they kind of bring it back to Flywire here in this shoe, which feels great. Uh, we have this kind of like strap. Um, I, I would say like midfoot strap and it kind of comes around here into the medial side 
in the heel and it pretty much does the same thing as like the Kyrie too, you know? Um, so there's that. And then we have a tongue as well with uh, with, a, with a little bit of padding and it is a half booty construction tongue. And then here in the ankle area, we have a little bit of padding as well. So the material is super nice, you know? I thought it wasn't gonna be nice because I thought it wasn't gonna be supportive enough, but I feel like well, we'll get into support, but I feel like they did a good job here with the fuse and all that. And then with the stretchy material, it feels great. All right, as far as the fit goes, I went true to size and it fits me really, really well. It fits pretty much the same as the Hyperdunk 2017. So if you remember what size you were in this shoe, pretty much get the same size. And it's a really, really snug fit, right? So lengthwise, true to size, I was good to go. And then here in the toe box, like this material, actually, it's a really snug fit here in the toe box. Uh, and then because of this stretchy material, it just feels great when you put on the shoe and then the material kind of like stretches over your foot. You feel that stretch over your foot pretty much like here in the forefoot and here in the midfoot, which feels awesome. It's also a very easy shoe to put on. The heel tab does come up quite a bit and then the tongue does open up a lot. And also another thing that I really like about the shoe is how like not only is it super easy to put on, but the laces, like I never had to tighten the laces. I, I literally just left it <laughs> like this and then had the strap. You know, I really never even adjusted the strap. But then like once I put it on, you know, the stretchy material kind of just like locked my foot down and it just felt great. So, um, I mean, obviously if you want a little bit more lockdown, the laces will help, but I never really had to like mess with the laces at all. So yeah, the fit was incredible. If you have a wider foot or you prefer a roomier fit in your shoe, probably go up half a size. But if you want like a snug fit, this is a great shoe to get. All right, as far as the support and lockdown goes, support and lockdown, I had zero issues. Pretty much here on the lateral side, the foam does come up a little bit here in the forefoot, acting like lateral containment. And you have this, like I guess, midfoot, forefoot strap. You know, it's more like in the middle of the midfoot and forefoot. You have a little bit of fuse here in the forefoot area. There doesn't seem to be a heel counter, which is interesting. Yeah, it doesn't, there's no heel counter. There is a heel counter here in the Hyperdunk. So yeah, an internal TPU heel counter here. Um, but you don't, really don't need anything here because the foam does come up quite a bit acting like a sidewall. So uh, I had no issues with lateral containment. Lateral stability was good as well. You know, uh, there's really no outrigger, but uh, the midsole and outsole do bubble out a little bit here on the lateral side of the forefoot. So lateral stability was good as well. So I was quite surprised because when I got this, I was like, ooh, it feels a little too soft. There doesn't seem to be a good amount of support from this material, but uh, it, they, they actually give you a good amount of support. You know, like I said, you have all this fuse here on the lateral side and they did a good job of not putting that fuse here on top of the toe box because like I keep saying, this material stretches over your foot and feels amazing. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. I feel like it's, it's gonna be pretty damn light. You're like, 11? Yeah, 11.32 ounces, which is extremely light. Let's check the Hyperdunk. It's probably gonna be around the same, right? 11.04. It's a little bit lighter prob probably because of the strap. But yeah, this shoe is super minimal, very lightweight. It feels a little bottom heavy because of this foam. You know, it, it gets a little bubbly, uh, just a tiny bit bulky feeling. I'm not saying it feels bulky at all, but just like if you look at the upper, it's just such a thin material, such a minimal upper that uh, like this being a little bulky makes the shoe overall feel a little bottom heavy. And it's not a, that's not a terrible or a bad thing at all. I'm just saying how it feels. But yeah, I mean, this shoe, you're gonna feel like you're not wearing anything. <laughs> it literally feels like an extension of your foot. So that feels great. As far as the ventilation goes, ventilation is pretty good. There's not a whole lot of airflow, but this material is pretty damn thin. So it wicks away moisture. It doesn't really feel like it's glued down at all. So ventilation is pretty good. As far as the aesthetics go, I like it. I, I love this black, white, and gum outsole colorway. There is another colorway where the upper is white. So uh, yeah, and the overall aesthetics, you guys see this? The strap is so dope because they put the swoosh through the strap and like it kind of just combines here and it's just a great look. Usually if there's a strap, Nike doesn't bother or I guess designers don't really bother to put the swoosh here in the middle of the shoe, but in this shoe it actually does. And I also really like uh, this bigger swoosh here in the heel. You guys see how it kind of wraps around <laughs> and it kind of goes here into the strap. So uh, yeah, the overall silhouette looks great. 
Tell us what you guys think about the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So does the basketball? Yes, it 100% basketballs and it does it freaking really, really well. And I might even like it a little bit better than the Hyperdunk 2017 just because of the material, you know? The outsole is amazing. Cushion is good and responsive. Not the craziest, like most fun, like cushioning setup ever. You know, it doesn't have like a full length zoom. It's not super soft, but it gets the job done. This textile material here in the Hyperdunk felt great. You know, it was soft, it was supportive and all that, but this material here in the in the hyper set just takes it to another level with this like stretchier neoprene type of feel and uh, just like the support from the strap and this half booty construction tongue to where like I never really had to deal with the laces. It was just awesome, right? So it, it's even top tier for basketball. If you guys want to get this shoe and you just want to ball in it, you 100% can. I had no issues with support or lockdown or anything like that. And it's cheap. You know, if you use a Soul Brothers 20 code, you can get it for like 80 bucks. <laughs> and you can get a top performing shoe for that. So I was very like surprised to see at how good this shoe performs, even though it's only a volleyball shoe. And also there was a volleyball shoe that came out like a couple years back that used the Kobe 6 tooling. Like it used the exact same outsole and midsole as the Kobe 6. The upper was just a little bit different. So I'm a little interested to try that shoe out, maybe, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this shoe performs incredibly well. And if you guys want to get it, I will leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.